Welcome to Topogy RV Caravan and Marine Accessories. Today we'll look at installing a Topogy water tank gauge. We have three models of water tank gauges. Our surface mount, a AA battery operated gauge which is suited to a more DIY aftermarket installation. The flush mount, a gauge that's recessed into your vehicle providing a superior appearance while using a 12 volt hardwire into your existing 12 volt system and our Bluetooth model which operates in conjunction with your smartphone or tablet as the display. Why use a Topogy water tank gauge? No holes drilled into the tank. Accurate reading of water flow to the litre or gallon so you always know how much water is left in your tank as opposed to the traditional water tank gauges which show full, three quarters full half full and empty, so you never know exactly how much water you have left in your tank, and can be used for multiple tanks of any size. Today we're going to use the surface mount as our example to install. This includes the display which comes with a 1.4 meter lead, the sender unit which fits down near the pump and is the same for all three gauges. Firstly, decide where you want to put your surface mount display gauge, then mount using the double-sided tape provided in the cradle. If using the flush mount display, it's simply a matter of cutting a hole where you want to install it. Pushing the unit into place. And using the screws provided to secure it. The next step after deciding where you're mounting your display is to determine where you're going to drill your hole to feed your 1.4 meter supplied lead through to connect to the sender unit. At this point, you may need to use an additional 1.4 meter or 3 meter extension lead to connect the gauge to the sender unit, depending on how far away they are from each other. Please note, you can connect as many as 6 leads together, making up 9.8 meters in total length. Next, locate your pump, and we'll work out where to put the sender unit. The recommended install point of the sender unit is 200 millimeters after the pump, but before any branches in the pipework. If you have no room after the pump, the sender can be fitted before the pump. However, you need to ensure that there are no tiny pinholes, as this will allow air to enter the hose line and the water may drain back into the tank. Check to see the sender is installed with the arrow pointing the way the water will be flowing. Ensure you cut your hose using a hose cutter so that you're cutting the pipe straight to avoid any leaks. John Guest fittings are used to connect the sender with the hard pipe. Ensure you use plumbing tape to avoid any leaks. If you have soft pipe, you'll need to use brass fittings. Please note, sender leads cannot be cut and joined. This will void your warranty. Extension leads must be used. Plug the extension lead into the sender unit and make sure that your cabling is tidy using cable ties. Now you're ready to set up your display. Installing batteries. 
slide the cover off the battery compartment. Place two AA alkaline batteries into the battery compartment. Slide the cover back into place, being careful not to catch any wires. Programming monitoring capacity. For the unit to work accurately, we're going to program it to the approximate liters of the tank. Press the display button to turn the display on. Next, press the prog button. Prog will blink on the LCD display. Press and release the reset button to choose the value of the right digit. Once the value has been chosen, press the PROG button to save the value. It will then go to the next digit. Repeat the above process to program the values for the five digits from right to left. The first time the meter is used, fill the water tank and then use it normally until empty. At this point, note how many usable liters the tank holds and reset the meter accordingly. If there's no input for one minute during the programming procedure, the programming procedure will be terminated and it goes back to its original status. For example, if you have a 300 litre tank, set the display to 300 litres. Use normally until empty. If the display shows you have 10 litres left, then you have a usable capacity of 290 litres. It is normal for tanks to hold approximately 10 to 12% less than the stated tank size. This is because the tank is drained from the sides, rounded corners and baffles. Enter the usable capacity amount. In this example, it would be 290 litres. Operating. The Topogy H2F SM surface mount will automatically turn on when the water is flowing and you'll see the litres counting down and a wavy line moving. The display will show the litres remaining as the water is flowing through the sensor. For example, a tap is turned on. It will automatically turn off 10 seconds after there is no water flowing. To manually check the remaining liters, press and release the display button and the remaining liters will be displayed for 10 seconds. The Topogy H2 FSM surface mount will give an audible alert and the digits will blink on the LCD display when the remaining capacity reaches zero or minus. Resetting. When the water tank has been refilled, press the display button to turn the display on. Next, press the reset button for 6 seconds. The reset on the LCD display will blink twice and give an audible alert. The unit will then be reset to the original programmed value. Please note, you may find it easier to use the side of your fingernail or a coin to hold the button in for 6 seconds. Low battery power alert. When the battery power is low, there will be an audible alert and the empty battery symbol on the right hand corner of the LCD display blinks. The alert will be cancelled when the batteries are replaced by new batteries. The data of the last status will be memorized and restored. Programming to H22. Press both the buttons at the same time and release. H22 should be displayed. If H22 is not displayed, keep pressing and releasing the display button until H22 is displayed. to change from litres to gallons or gallons to litres. Remove the two AA batteries. Press and hold the PROG button while reinstalling the batteries. Release the button when you hear the long beep. The display will be switched from litres to gallons or gallons to litres. Wait until the screen turns off and the unit will store the setting. So that is how you fit the Topogy water tank gauge. Know your daily usage and how much water is left in your tank to the litre or gallon. Easy installation, fitted in the water line with nothing fitted or drilled to the tank. The senders and electronics are compatible with all commonly available RV, caravan and marine water pumps. Works with gravity fed systems. Each time you refill the tank, reset the display and it will count down to the max capacity stored on first use, showing you exactly the number of litres remaining. One unit can be used for multiple tanks as well as tanks of any size, preferable to traditional full, half and empty displays. Can be used in conjunction with your current system to accurately know your capacity and usage.
This is a must-have for those loving the adventures of the bush, free camping and boondocking. With Topogy, you'll spend less time worrying about your tank's capacities and more time having fun. For more information on Topogy products and support, head to topogy.com.au.